Hello, viewers. If you want to this is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution yes. for you. Today, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to configure the remote, remote desktop in Google Chrome. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. If you want to use Google Remote Desktop service, your both computer must need to be this logged in today. from Hope Google account. Is helpful for you. Look, for next I am using Thank here you. a desktop and a laptop computer and I will try to get access from laptop to this desktop using Google Remote Desktop. Okay, open Google Chrome, log in from your Google account, look, here I am already logged in from my Google account, okay, in search bar type remote desktop dot google.com remote desktop dot google.com now hit enter look the remote access service has been opened set up remote access now you will find the message would you like to install from remote desktop to this device when with an installed app you will be able to use more keyboard shortcut and the browser toolbar will take up less space okay i am going to install it click on install again click on install now set up remote access click on this button now you will find a button add to chrome now click on add to chrome now you have to add this extension so click on add extension chrome remote desktop has been added to chrome okay now close this window Again, type remote desktop click here. Look, download Google Chrome remote desktop service that. MSI now click on accept and install and click on yes you have to wait for a little bit time okay now click on run okay installation has been finished the name of my computer desktop 60.cl1ed this is my desktop computer name i can change the name if i wish okay now click next now you have to enter a pin number and pin number must be at least six digits okay i'm going to set the pin number okay re-enter the pin number okay now click on start
if you wish you can save your password and computer name in your browser i am saving it now i am going to my desktop computer this is my another computer just open google chrome and in search bar type remote desktop dot google chrome and then hit enter you will find two button here one is access my computer and another one is share this my share my screen and you will find these two button in upper right corner of your browser okay now i am going to click on access my computer look here my computer name is showing and the computer is in online okay no need this so click on no thanks and you can close this option okay click on your computer name now it is connecting now enter the pin number you have created in another machine now look i am already access to my laptop from this desktop and look this is my laptop and you can click on show full screen and you can work your laptop remotely from this computer you can do anything as you wish i am access accessing to my computer documents click on folder option and you will get everything here in your computer I close this window and close the button now you can download files from host computer to remote computer or you can upload files from this computer to your host computer now i am going to download download files from host computer to remote computer click on download files look any file you can download from your host computer to the remote computer i am selecting a file here and click on okay okay the file has been downloaded look the file has been downloaded 
to your host computer from remote computer. Now I am going to upload file file from host computer to remote computer. Scroll down. and click on upload files and select any file okay now click open Look, the file is uploaded to your remote computer from the host computer. Look, I have uploaded this file from host computer to my remote computer. You can share file in this way from upload and download. Close this window. If you want to close your remote session, just click on disconnect and the remote session has been closed. This is all for today. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.